Okay, so let's do our few tweaks to the animation before we start to add lights and materials and so on. So, here is our scene. Let's just copy the cameras from the previous. We already have decided that we will be using just these first three. So let's copy them, paste this, and paste them here. Delete this one. Now, First off, uh, we need the animation to stop at the end, to just slow down and stop. So, let's take about a second, one second, where it will just ramp down and stop. And so at frame 120, which is one second from the end, we'll add another keyframe at the time scale. Go into here, oh sorry, and go to the last, the last frame and change this to zero. Let's keyframe that again. And we will rebake the cache. And let's look at this. And now it just stops. Perfect. So now oh, that's the first week and the second thing we wanted is to slow down the bullet a little bit so it's in this shot where we want to see it longer and we need to check exactly where the cuts, cuts happen so that's from frame 12 to frame what is it 59 so from 12 to 59 Okay, let's get, go out of the camera. <coughs> and now, if we go to the bullet, where is it? Right here. Let's push it back a little bit. Perhaps to here. Oh, let's do a different. Let's go into the keyframes of the bullet and let's make this window larger. Huh. Oh, the wrong key. Good. So. Now we will take these two keyframes in the end, pull them way down. Where is our camera? Let's look at this. Ah, let's give us some space right here. So, at frame 59, let's make sure it's like, at, I don't know, frame 48, 48 before the end of the shot that it's still in, in the shot. So. Okay, that's, that looks good. Let's make it slower in the end as well. Like this. And fix this here. So that in the end this, this line is straight. So it's going constant speed. And also, let's fix this change in speed right here. Ah, no. Like this. And this up a little bit as well. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's look at in the main shot. Just need to make sure that it look, doesn't look weird when it. Ah. Let's 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 make this a little bit. It slows down too fast, so we need to make this a little longer. And this shorter, so like this. Let's try that. Oh, still doesn't look quite right. Let's look in this camera. What does it look like? You know what? It's probably fine. Let's just let's just make it so that in the end it goes slower. So like this. Maybe not so much. And straighten this line right here. And look again. This is weird. Uh, 
and also because I'm annoyed that you can see these lines which are the cameras so let's just make them invisible in the editor like this so let's see this it just it, it slows down a little too fast maybe you can compromise it a little bit and move it up just a little way so okay, let's go into our camera make sure that it doesn't go out of the shot too much well, this should be about fine about right so also let's fix this right here make the line straight again a little more here and make this one longer not too much so it doesn't basically slow down and then speed up again you want this to be right good now let's watch still don't like this you know what let's push this back but no no let's not push it back by one frame let's try something else let's look at this what can we do let's let's make this changing speed as abrupt towards the end as possible maybe pull these two keyframes up a little more I guess it needs a lot of fixing right here oh sorry maybe no yeah but it exits the shot a little too fast if I do this so little bit down let's call it frame like 48 yeah this is probably the maximum we can go so this is a little weird let's make this straighter as well what if I do this what happens that's worse okay so Let's extend this as much as possible. Maybe let's no. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think this is starting to look better. A lot better. Let's check in the main camera. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is probably fine. So let's keep it like this. And that is pretty much all we needed to do. Well, so let's also uh, one more thing we need to create the last camera, which is the first uh, is the same as the first. But we need to change the animation a little bit. So let's take this somewhere else as scene one reverse and I think it was about three seconds long maybe two but let's give us give ourselves enough space now so this will be probably running backwards so we need to we can only play it for us but we need to kind of imagine and in the end it needs to stop because the shot before it stops so we need to slow have it slowly start moving and then just can come together also let's let's disable the bullet because we don't need that but now what we need to do is go into the keyframes of the mode dynamics delete these two in the middle this one in the end and let's make it like this perhaps maybe that might work let's see clear cash back let's watch we need it to end up very much in the same place as the one before this is not good the shards are all gone that's not good so <coughs> we need we need it to slow down as fast as possible 
so we come back to the same same ending frame it doesn't need to be exactly the same you know if we have a little bit of difference nobody will notice but i think this is good this this looks right this chart is weird this is very weird let's just tweak some settings a little bit just maybe move it a little and rebate maybe that'll change that one weird chart let's see wrong It does the same thing again. Eh, whatever. Nobody will notice. When we play backwards, it's just... It looks much better. So, this should be pretty much it. I guess. So, we can just save this. And I'll see you in the rendering when we create our materials, our, our lights, and set up our render settings.